Tonight we are hearing a plea for more volunteers to help with folks in Chambers County and help them to recover. Brett Buffington is in Winnie where the extent of the damage is still unclear. Winnie was under a flood warning until this morning, four days after it started raining. Officials here tell me they can only estimate how many buildings were damaged by water because in places they are still waiting on the water to go down. In Winnie, Texas this morning, it was a sight to see when ranchers wrangled this herd of longhorns up a highway headed to higher ground. It's high at the intersection at 1985. It's not the first time they've had to do this. Yeah, they're an RV. Which is making this flood just two years later devastating. Yeah, it was high up there. I'm so sorry. At the town's First Baptist Church. I want you to know Jesus loves you and we love you too. The line for help with just the basic cleaning supplies and a bag of food backed up for blocks. We're running out of stuff here in town and, and people are not being able to go back to work so they don't have the funds to, to purchase any of this stuff. Supplies showed up here by the trailer load called a convoy of hope. The church's pastor told us people here need every bit of it. We don't pray for disaster, but we pray for an opportunity to help people who are hurting. And, and here they are. This is a community dealing with being drenched again. Here's the deal. No, nobody likes it. We're not happy to redo it. Drenched, yes. Yeah, come Thank on, y'all can so do this. Much. But defeated. Thank y'all very much. Never. 800 homes and businesses flooded. That is the estimate from Chambers County officials. FEMA, they will be here on the ground tomorrow to start assessing the damage here. You might be asking why they weren't here earlier. They tell me that's because they too are waiting on the water to go away.